What we have here, guys, is a dim sim. This is the snack that you eat when you're walking past and you're like, ooh, damn, they got dimmies? Yeah, I'm gonna get one of those dim sims. Hey, uh, my name's Raf Rashid and I'm the cook and staff motivator at Beatbox Kitchen, Taco Truck, All Day Donuts and Winita Peaches. Today we are at my house in uh, West Brunswick in Melbourne and we are making turducken dimmies. It's a version of a dumpling. So they're dumplings that have been kind of compacted a little bit more and sort of formed into a bit of a grenade. Every single snack food shop has this. Invented in Melbourne in 1945, something like that, by Elizabeth Chong's dad. This little guy has been rocking longer than any other food that I can remember. Generation to generation to generation, we made it Australian. And uh, we're gonna do a version for you today. We're gonna use three meats. We're gonna use turkey, chicken, and duck. We're gonna do a turducken dim sim. So we're gonna start off with um, 400 grams of each. Got a hunk of ginger, pistachios, cabbage. White pepper. Five or six star anise. About a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorns. A teaspoon of clove. Just under a teaspoon, about three quarters of a teaspoon of fennel seeds. And we've got half a stick of cinnamon there. Sesame oil, salt, and eggs gonna bind the turkey a little bit. For the pastry, we're gonna go plain flour and there's potato starch in here. Yeah, should we get cracking? Yeah, so we're gonna do the five spice. I've got a, a little cast iron uh, fry pan here. So I just got this on a low, low medium and we just let the spices, let them do their thing. So we can just see that it's all releasing and smoking away and it's really aromatic. I'll let it cool then we'll, um, we'll grind it. You could use the um, a mortar and pestle. You could sit there for a while, but I, I just think that if you've got a little grinder, it's, it's easy. Probably take you about, I don't know, 30 seconds. For the duck, I put in two and a half teaspoons of five spice, then I've mixed it up. Um, you can see the spice in there. You can smell it, but it's not too overpowering. We'll spice the chicken next. Chunk of ginger. We're gonna grate straight into the, um, into the chicken. All right, then we've got a handful of pistachios. These have been roasted, but they're not salted. And we're gonna chop them really rough. This must be like a handful. So this is pretty nutty. This is a good chicken and ginger nut. I'm gonna put in a bit of salt. And there's our chicken. Here we get the turkey mince. Because it's so lean, we need to, we need to put in a, um, something to bind it all together. So we're just gonna put in one egg white. Just over a teaspoon of white pepper in here. Uh, this is Chinese cabbage, so, or wombok. So about a cup. I think the cabbage is gonna to be too much. So I'm flipping from my little bowl here into this bowl. Then we've got a teaspoon of sesame oil. Let's chuck a spring onion in there and a bit of salt. So we've got our three meats here. We've got our turkey, chicken, and duck. We're gonna put those into the fridge and let them just, you know, chill down and get a, let the flavors meld together a little something. And now we're gonna make the pastry. So we've got a cup of regular flour. Then in my broken bag, I got some potato starch. And this will keep it super supple styles. Three quarters of a cup. Then I got a pinch of salt, bit of butter, 40 grams, and some warm water. Um, I'm gonna start with half a cup of water. So I'm gonna put on the low speed. If you're at home and you didn't have a mixer, you would use it, get a big bowl, get your big spoon, and just start working and working and working. It's gonna take about 10 minutes in here. So it's gonna take you about 15 to 20 by hand until it all starts to come together. So I reckon this guy's ready. Super, super stretchy. Almost like Play-Doh. So we've got this awesome soft dough and we're gonna make some dimmies. I think we're gonna try and make like around six at a time. We're gonna try and roll this as thin as we possibly can and we're gonna try and get it to a sheet size about 12 inches by nine inches. Yeah, it's feeling good. And what we're looking for is about six squares, just over four inches. Now the key, so we're not left with lots of pastry in our mouth, is to take these little notches out. I want nothing but meat and pastry. 
We've got our stars there. We're gonna get our meat. Okay, so we've got our chicken, our duck, and our turkey. So this meat's been in the fridge for about an hour. It's really cold now, um, and it'll be a lot easier to work with. The way that they do tadakan is they start with a big turkey. I reckon you've, you're gonna put in around 25 grams of meat. I'm probably around 15 grams of the duck. Now probably going for about 10 grams of the ginger and pistachio chicken. We want to make sure that we get a nice little hit of nut in there. Now we've got to turn them into dim sims and mold them up with our hands. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the, we're going to take the edge, we're going to fold them up, we're going to come up. It's like a little present. Shut down the walls. Then we've got this little squat little guy. So just keep working your thumb and these two fingers like this. Boom, boom. Squat out the bottom a little bit. And there we have the little grenade. We've got enough dough and meat to do about 24, um, but we're gonna get these into the steamer now and get them cracking. So we've got a, um, a wok. Uh, we're gonna fill it up about a third full of water. And we're gonna put the, um, the bamboo steamer over the top. All right, so we'll just put a bit of baking paper in there just to make sure they don't get stuck to the bottom. Yeah, you can just rock it, just a regular vegetable steamer. It doesn't have to be all um, faux asian out like this. <laughs> That's just what I had. We're gonna get it to a nice mellow boil. We don't want it too crazy. Uh, we don't want it to cook too fast. The turkey's gonna cook the quickest because it's on the outside. It's also the leanest and we don't want that to turn to rubber. They're gonna need around 14, 15 minutes. We're gonna serve it in the traditional sense. And the traditional sense of the dim sim has to be served in a white bowl, two at a time with soy sauce, or in a freezer bag with soy sauce, one hanging lower than the other. I don't know why, but they always come out like that. They always give them to you and then, then one just hangs lower than the other. It's kind of wrong. <laughs> All right, fuck it, let's get these out. There's our dimmies. Yeah, these are looking real good. You can feel them, they're nice and firm. So in a bowl, in a white bowl, good hit of soy sauce. Or you get them in the, in the freezer bag. That, my friends, is le legitimate dim sim. Let's get a bite on this, man. Oh yeah. Pastry, robust, a little bit sticky, still delicate. The ultimate in hand snack, opportunistic food.